welcome back to my channel. My name is Katarina. If you're new here, welcome. I post videos about faith, lifestyle vlogs, Jesus related content. So if you're interested, please subscribe and check out my other videos. So for today's video, we are going to be doing a what God showed me in 2022. So I have done, I believe this is my third video doing this. Um, what God showed me in the year, basically the previous year, I've done 2020, 2021, and here is 2022. So I'm really excited to see. Um, and what I basically do is throughout the year, I have a note in my phone, basically about things that God has showed me, revelations, um, just little things, little messages, um, and stuff like that, dreams, things like that. So I write them down throughout the year. And then at the end of the year or the beginning of the next year, I do a video like this. So this is going to be this video for 2022. Okay, so the first thing is, this was in January of 2022. Basically the Lord had given me an idea um, to do something that would help me financially. And it's something that I didn't really think about before, um, but the Lord gave me this idea and it prompted to me really benefiting um, financially. So. I know it was really the Lord because I just would never have thought of this idea at the beginning of 2022 and I really needed it. And it's just crazy when you ask like the Holy Spirit to come in and give you wisdom on situations, he will give you things that you can never think of because like, I don't know, sometimes when you're in the moment, when you're in different situations, you don't, you just can't see past the situation that you're in. But God um, says his ways are not our ways. His thoughts are not our thoughts. They're higher than ours. So he knows all things he knows best. So. Um, yeah, that was just definitely a praise report. Um, the Lord just really helped me out and gave me an idea and it ended up working out for me. So this is March 25th. It says this morning I woke up with contentment on my mind. Last night I was thinking about it and this morning I woke up with the thought of the reason why I'm not content is because I am not trusting in God's timing. Ooh, that's okay. That's good. I'm not trusting in God's timing because these things will come to pass, but I need to trust that God knows what he's doing because he does and that he knows the best timing and what that is. I need to hold on to that. Um, that's good. Yeah. So basically what I was saying, I was not content with certain situations in my life. Um, but I really with me not being content, that was showing that I was not trusting in God's timing. So that's really good. That was March 25th. Then come April 3rd, which is like not that far away from that. It says, I love the waiting because it gives more time for God to show his glory in the unknown before the revealing of what he is doing so i think that's just so funny how like in mar on march 25th i was talking about how i was not content with certain, certain situations in my life and i was just um like you know the waiting and i have to trust in god's timing and all those stuff and then come like april 3rd i love the waiting like what i don't know i think the lord is just really working on me and you know god's speed okay god was really working on me and i i went from not being content with his timing and not trusting him to saying i love the waiting so that's that's kind of funny april 16th i saw a shooting star i write little moments like this down because i'm like such a little romantic um but i i wrote that so yeah seeing a shooting star um that was cool may 7 2022 if I'm ever scared or nervous about what someone might think about me, then that means I'm not rooted and secure in the way that God thinks about me. Um, I don't really know what was going on, but I guess I was thinking about what someone may think about me or I don't really know. Um, but I basically said that I'm not secure in the way that God thinks about me and who he says I am. So that's a good point for sure. Um, Cause sometimes I feel like it's, it's easy to like become a, like a people pleaser or just to care about what people think. Um, you know, I feel like a lot of people go through that. A lot of people, you know, think about those things, but your identity is in Christ alone. And I was just telling myself that in May, so. <laughs> so in August, I had this dream with this guy that I liked. Um, and basically the dream wasn't really like specific to him or anything, but the dream, <laughs> the Lord was trying to show me something and the Lord does speak to me through dreams. So. Basically, in the dream, I had an opportunity to either chase after this guy or decide to just go my own way and do what I wanted to do. Um, and in the dream, I remember making like a conscious decision. I don't know. It wasn't really conscious as I was dreaming. But anyways, I remember making a decision of saying, um, 
like stopping and I was like, do I chase after him or do I go and do my own thing? And I chose to go and do my own thing. And that was really like a breaking point for me. Even though that happened in real life, I feel like the Lord is tough, like showing me like, you know, I've come a long way um, with guys and relationships and all these different things. And um, just not like chasing after a guy who's not worth my time. So that was a really like cool moment and I just decided to write it down. Um, just so I want just because I wanted to remember that. But um, yeah, the Lord showed me like, you know, I don't need to be chasing after a guy. Like it says in the Bible, he who finds a wife finds a good thing. So my husband's gonna find me. Um, <laughs> and whatever that looks like, it's gonna be God's way and God's timing, but it's not gonna be me going out of my own way to try to, to, try to go put something together myself. Because I've done that in the past and it does not work. So the Lord was like showing me, like giving me confirmation, like do not go and do something that you're not supposed to do. Like be led by me, do not be led by your flesh and what you wanna do. Um, because you're gonna mess it up. So that's basically what that was about, which is really cool. The Lord just gave me that and yeah, so decided to write that down. Now fast forward to December 18th, 2022. Um, one of my good friends looked at me and they said, everything is going to work out. And that day I was kind of pondering the situation and just thinking about it, kind of dwelling on it. And um, I, you know, I, I wasn't talking to anybody about it. I was just kind of thinking about it in my head and kind of like talking to God about it. But um, as I was leaving, this person said this to me and I was like, what? And they repeated themselves. And I'm like, I was like, huh? Like, I was like, what does that mean? And they didn't say, they all they said, they basically repeated themselves. And that was it. And I was like, okay, so I left. And I knew it was God. Like I knew it was God because that is exactly what I needed to hear. Everything is going to work out. Um, and I was shook because I was like, wow, like, you know, this person didn't know what I was thinking about. I didn't vent to them about what was going on, um, in my head, but God knew and God used that person to speak to me. And this person is a really good friend of mine. And it was very, um, it was just such a sweet moment from the Lord. So I remember later on just thinking about and just praising God and just thanking God for just giving me that like confirmation and that little, like, just sweet sweetness of the Lord that he's just so good. So. And he cares, you know, about me. And even though sometimes I may think about things in my head, you know, he cares about those things too. So, um, but anyways, later on, I remember texting my friend and I was like, Hey, like, like, thank you for saying what you said earlier. And they were like, what did I say? Like, they didn't even remember <laughs> what they said. And that's how I knew it was from the Lord. Like I knew it was from God because they didn't, didn't even remember. They were just being led by the Lord. And then I was like, oh, I know it was from the Lord because you don't even remember like what you said. So yeah, that was the last thing that I wrote down. Um, the last kind of encouraging thing that I wrote down from last year. But um, even though I didn't write a lot of things down, I did handwrite some things in my journal, but those things were a bit more intimate. Um, but I will talk about the main thing I think I learned in 2022. I learned how to depend on God. Um, I've been a Christian for a little bit and Depending on God is something that you just learn as you go and you just know to do, you know, like don't depend on yourself, don't depend on your own strength, lean on the Lord, do not lean, like do not trust in your own understanding, but trust in the Lord and all these different things. And you know the Bible verses, but um, it's different, like different saying it and saying it is powerful because, you know, there's power in what you say, it's power in your tongue. Um, but when you actually have to like live it, like really depend on God because you have no other option, um, it hits different. Um, I went through some hard times this year um, and I really had to learn how to depend on God, like seriously. Like when I didn't have the answers, like when the people around me didn't have the answers, like when you don't know what to do, like you really have to depend on God um, because you have no other choice. And ultimately, like in, re in reality, God should be the first choice. But like we like to run to like other, you know, things first and see if that'll work or whatever whatever because we're human but ultimately like god is the first choice because he is the best choice like he knows what to do from the beginning anyways like why waste your time looking for something else when god is the answer anyways 
Um, so I really had to learn to depend on him like never before. Um, and yeah, I came out way stronger than I was before. Um, I thought I was pretty strong before and I am pretty strong and pretty confident in all these things because of God. Like, let's get that clear, because of God. Um, but I really <laughs> learned a lot about myself this year and I really learned that like the Lord stretched me and like I grew. <laughs> Um, like never before, but that just means that I have so much more wisdom to give people and encouragement and testimonies and all of the things. Um, so that is the number one thing I learned this year was to depend on God like never before. And I just want to encourage you, uh, if you are going through something that it looks impossible, because trust me, I've been there multiple times in my life, but, but definitely this past year, um, I want to encourage you to trust in God. He is the answer. Like he is, he makes a difference in every situation and he can change everything. Um, you just have to believe in him. You have to pray and allow him to come in and um, help you. Um, but I'm saying this because I want to be honest and be real and um, give you the real answer. Like I'm not gonna give you some answer that's not gonna work. Like God is the answer, he can help you. Um, so I just wanna encourage you to really just press in and depend on him and release release whatever it is that you're holding on to the situation release it to god surrender it to him and watch him work and um he will show up because he is so good and he loves you so much um so yeah that is today's video what i learned in 2022 i hope you have enjoyed it thank you so much for tuning in and subscribing and liking and just supporting me throughout um this youtube journey and this channel i really do appreciate it um, it means a lot to me. Please don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like these and other vlogs and faith and Jesus related content. Don't forget to be the best person that you can be and to love people. Remember, Jesus loves you and I'll see you guys all soon. Bye.